are here in the heart of the city with City Sightseeing Toronto with Aoife. Aoife, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? It's a beautiful day yeah. and I'm ready to <laughs> ride the bus, but tell us a little bit about what City Sightseeing Toronto is. Uh, so we've been operating in Toronto for about 25 years now, just over, and uh, we operate the iconic red double-decker hop-on, hop-off buses. Uh, we do day trips to Niagara Falls and we do harbour and island cruises as well in the harbor, Toronto Harbour. This is the perfect way to travel the city and explore the city as a tourist, but also as a local. Tell us what a ticket gets you when you buy a ticket here. So a standard tour takes about two hours if you don't get off the bus, so we'll have a lot of people who just come on and do the two hour loop, but the standard ticket's valid for 24 hours. So if you want to hop on and hop off, go for lunch, uh, go see an attraction, uh, you have that option. What are some of the major spots this bus tours when it's driving around the city? So we go as far north as Casa Loma, so that's one of the big ones. Uh, we go down to the waterfront, so we're going past the CN Tower, Ripley's Aquarium, the Art Gallery of Ontario, the Hockey Hall of Fame, the Distillery District, Little Canada, um, Museum of Illusions, like yeah, we're, we're going past everything that you need to see, and the Royal Ontario Museum as well. The best part of this tour experience is you can hop on and hop off. How long do these buses run throughout the day? So uh, in our busy season, in the height of the summer, the first bus leaves at 9 a.m. in the morning and they leave all throughout the day until the last tour leaves probably at around 5 o'clock, 5.30, um, and it gets back into uh, finish its tour here at about 7.30. This bus doesn't also just travel Toronto, it goes around to Niagara and some other places as well. Can you mention what comes with those packages? Absolutely, so we have uh, closed top double-decker buses that go, go to Niagara as well as some regular coaches. We don't take the open open buses on yeah, the highway. Yeah, that would be really fun to ride on the highway. <laughs> it would be fun, yeah, <laughs> but I, I don't know what your hair would look like at the end of the journey there. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a full day trip. We leave the downtown probably between 9 o'clock and 9.30, um, getting back in probably around 7 o'clock depending on traffic. There's options to include some of the attractions down there, but the biggest thing is we spend about three hours free time at the falls. Um, we have a visit to Niagara on the lake as well, and we have a visit to the winery in the summer seasons. How is this the best way to travel the city as a local or as a tourist? Yeah, well, it's, it's the flexibility that comes with it. Um, so we've had so many locals that will come on and usually, you know, they're probably bringing friends and family who are visiting, uh, but they're like, oh my God, I didn't know that, or this is new. And so there's something, you'll learn something uh, every time that you go on there, I think. And we've got different tour guides. So if you're riding the same portion, you know, different tour guides might talk about different things like history or architecture. You can't say everything that they know in, in the time that it's passing. So you'll hear something different. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been living here my entire life around here, and this is going to be my first time taking the bus and I'm very excited I'm excited to ride the top and explore the city as a tourist today. We are here with Michelle, our tour guide for today. Tell us what stops we're going to be making on this tour. So we go through the main tourist attractions in the city of Toronto. For example, we do visit Casa Loma, the CN Tower, the St. Lawrence Market. We pass by, you know, a lot of local favorites like the Entertainment District. We go up Young Street. It's all the stuff that people need to know when they visit the city of Toronto. All of the hot spots in Toronto. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Tell me what I'm going to be able to learn on this tour and what the tour guides talk about. Toronto today is one of the cities that a lot of people pass through, but they don't know much about the history. For example, passing from here, Young and Dundas Square, all the way to Blorin Young in York, well, in the 60s and 70s, it used to be full of coffee houses and rhythm and blues music. Nobody really knows that. Um, when people pass by Casa Loma, sure, we're aware that it's one of those iconic tourist attractions in Toronto, but nobody knows it was built in the 1900s or that the X-Men movies were filmed there. Um, the CN Tower used to be the Canadian National Tower once upon a time. Now it's Canada's National Tower. You know, that's not something a lot of people think about. They're just like, it's a CN Tower, I'm here in Toronto, and it's really amazing to share the experience with a lot of people again on our bus. I'm a local and I don't even know half the stuff, so I think even a local taking this tour, it would be so beneficial to learn the information from you guys. Now, this bus comes around multiple times a day, so how many buses do you have kind of running throughout the city? So usually um, the wait between buses tends to be 45 minutes as we go deeper into the summer. Uh, we have quite a few buses running out, so that wait goes down to 15-ish minutes. So really people have the opportunity to hop on, hop off every 15 minutes or so to get the full experience of the city as well. Definitely. They might find a stop that they like and they have the flexibility to get off at that stop, explore the area, and then they have the comfort of getting onto another bus that will take them back around the city to continue their journey. Now, Michelle, I have kind of a personal question for you. Out of all the tour stops, what is your favorite stop? You know, it changes as I do the job more. My personal favorite is Casa Loma, but that's because 
Um, you know, as a tour guide, I took it upon myself to visit the area. And I was really transfixed by the history of Casa Loma, how many people come and spend time over there. And it's the best kept secret in the city of Toronto. Because, you know, whenever someone comes to visit our city for the first time, they are aware of some things like uh, the distillery district or the CN Tower or the theater district and the entertainment district. Casa Loma is one of those places that you really have to visit to take in all of that beauty. Now, finally, the tour bus itself. It's a double-decker. Can you tell us some features about the tour bus? Yes, absolutely. So the top uh, is a open-air uh, part of the bus, and that allows people to take in the sights and really pass through everything, soak in the visual element of our city. Um, oftentimes, as you know, our city does get a little bit cold on and off. Um, usually at the bottom half of the deck, it is enclosed for that reason. As we go deep into the winter, we do have closed top buses as well. That allows people the flexibility to visit our city, take in our sights and not be encumbered by the weather or the harsh elements. Amazing. Well, I'm excited and I'm definitely going to be sitting on the top to get the full experience. So I say, let's do this and let's have a good time. Let's do it. Let's do it. The bus is about to leave, so I say, let's get on, let's get on the top, and let's have a good time. I'm excited. Let's go! We're moving. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Up ahead on your right, that is the Toronto Metropolitan University, and that is the Student Learning Center. That's where I went to school. It's getting windy up here, gotta buckle up. <laughs> you will see the Chelsea Hotel on your left. Largest hotel in Canada, 1,590 rooms. Does anyone know what's so special about this street? Young Street's the longest street in the world. Yes, 1,896 kilometers long. A small part of the street became a highway, so it's no longer in the Guinness Book of World Records, but it is the longest street in the world and iconic for being that. So you can get really close to the tour guide and listen to what he's saying, but you can also listen to him through these. And the best part about these is that it comes in different languages. So if you're visiting from another country, you can learn about the culture and history of Toronto in the language you understand best. They actually use these buses for the Raptors Championship Parade, so I could be sitting where Kawhi Leonard was sitting. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> the oldest library. Our team has the highest, longest, consecutive record of losses. And then they finally won one, and they had a pizza party along this whole strip. We're about to go underneath a bridge. Here we go. I feel like I'm so close to it. <laughs> Hi! Hello! I saw you in the window. Toronto, 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 Toronto. <laughs> We're about to get off just to check out the surroundings and then we'll hop back on. Let's go. It's about to be a good time to get off here because we have a view of the CN Tower and the Rogers Center over there. Living my best tourist life. Woo! Time to get back on. We're finally coming back to where we started on the tour. We hopped off, we hopped on, we got to see the city from a whole new perspective. So if you want to see the sites, head to citysightseeingtoronto.com.